Oh, you're putting gas in it. Uh-huh. I wonder if they know what that means. Yeah, get close, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. About that time. Hi boys, long awaited moment. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. The Gen 3 10R80 ESS supercharged 79 pace car is about to fire up. Lots of updates on it. I've been out of town a little bit, so wanted to let you guys check this out. And we're gonna hear this thing for the first time. Not sure what's gonna happen, but we'll know in a minute. All right, got the four fuel system in. Oh, I hear pumpage. Holy, ho! Oh. Well, we found our first leak. <laughs> yeah, there it is. But anyway, uh, real quick update, because I know it's been a minute. Uh, K Designs, rear seat delete in, all the carpet is in interior looks great dash is back in which i'll like this up here shortly when we can put power back to it but uh the dakota digital vhx cluster looks absolutely amazing in there i know it's dark you can't really see it let me turn some light on here i guess my lights I guess my lights do yeah. oh i can turn key on all right check this out yeah that looks amazing. Very, very nice. See, there's your box down there. It's, we still gotta get it mounted, but pretty freaking slick. And also, we hadn't showed you uh, these are the seats going in it. These are actual leather uh, Corbos, but. I've actually been checking these out. These are pretty damn nice. Now you're gonna have to be a, uh, you can't be a big boy for these cause they are tight, like extremely tight, but they look amazing. Is, is it time? Right, it's time, it's time, it's time. All right, let's see. Oh, ho, ho. All right. We got no tune. Yeah, no tune whatsoever. Damn, it's loud. <laughs> Not too shabby. I didn't know if it broke that long. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we did good work to run his Yeah. It, it made noise. Yeah. It made lots of noise. Yeah. Hell yeah. Big progress. Nothing wrong with that at all. Try one more time? Yeah, why not? Let's see if we take a little throttle off. Not much. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's got a lot going on. Yeah. For no tuning hook. Yeah, for sure. Ha, ha, ha. Bad ass. We'll get a tune to go from there. Oh, sure. Well, we got leaking down here. Brake fluid? We got a fifth leaking. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So, we got to do some exhaust. Of course, we got Stifler's cross member. Hold on, let me get you some light here. Yeah. 
Got Stifler's cross member. And Dover got all the brake lines run. You can see the four fuel system there. Very, very nice fuel system. Just saying, looks like the, uh, I can't, yeah, these are BMR upper and lower. I can't remember, they only just remind me of Team Z. And of course, got the wheel wood discs in the back. Rear ends all built. A lot of coin in this one. Gonna get a drive shaft on the way. Tune. And then all the fine details. We think one more time for the for the audience. Make a noise enough. Yep. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's warm enough. Nice. That's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Needs a tune. It pops off, though, huh? Yeah. Engine sounds great. No crazy noises. Ooh, those seats look good. Yeah. Those work out really nice. Very clean. Of course, you got the K designs back here. Tell me that ain't clean. Very nice. Interior's come a long way. All right guys, switching gears a little bit from 179 to another. It's back. All right, let's show you what we got going on. All right guys, so Tim brought the 79 back. Uh, he took it up and uh, had the engine bay painted so it looked crispy and fresh also installed the scott rod panels didn't do a full engine bay shave just because you know i don't know why but he didn't and uh but this looks great uh fresh paint you know a little mild smoothing nothing crazy and uh it looks a hundred percent better uh than before it had some black like overspray from something over on that side and it just wasn't nice and crispy like the exterior but now we're good and you can see we've got freaking parts out the yin yang and then also well yeah more parts here and more parts here so these are going to be the fresh shoes because she's going to be five lug with a decent brake set up obviously the sve series ones i love them in gold i love them in gold they're very nice which you know i like the sve mesh wheels as well but man hard to go wrong there but yeah so we got all the five lug stuff there uh, yeah dakota digital vhx going in just like we did on the pace car so this is gonna be sweet guys i hope you guys are enjoying this one so there's your control pack and you got your stifflers you got to have your stifflers cross member freaking mandatory it's gonna be fun though it's gonna be, nice. it's, it's gonna be very cool yeah, then nice. of course engine is already mocked up on the k member with the headers over there so bing bang shouldn't take long i mean it's there it's there yeah yeah make it happen huh yeah why not let's put it in all right boys probably gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here engine and trans is in not too bad this one's rolling on pretty quick you can see everything fits really nice 
gonna be a really cool ride. All right, boys, there you go. I know it's a lot happening in one video, but hey, we got a lot going on. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's 79 life. I don't know, I can't even say that right. 79 life for real up in here. Um, so guys, I hope you did enjoy this. Keep it tuned right here. Lots coming for both cars. Uh, hoping to get a tune for the pace car and then uh, throw some wiring and uh, get this one going. So uh, anyway, make sure you're subscribed. Please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. We'll catch you on the next one.